Hey guys, welcome back to the Sonic Retrospective, and today I'm going to be talking about Sonic Colors. So Sonic Colors was probably the first mainstream, it was the first mainstream uh, Sonic game on the Nintendo Wii, and who oh boy did they really try. This is the one time that Sega has listened to their fans, and it did great, like, this game is honestly amazing. This is when I played Sonic Colors for the first time. At first, I was a little bit hesitant because I'm like, ah, another Sonic game for the Wii. But then it said it had a GameCube controller compatibility. I'm like, all right, that sounds pretty promising. It's not just gonna be like another car simulator, like uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings, or just god awful, god awful controls, like in Sonic and the Black Knight. So I was like, all right, that sounds really good. And then when I saw them showing it off at uh, conventions. They were like, they literally said like, all right, it's like the day stages from Sonic Unleashed, and that's it. And I was like, oh my god, they listened. They they listened to the fans. They loved it, and it's like they they heard the criticisms, and they were just like, man, like people were like, man, uh, if only Sonic Unleashed was only the day stages, and that's exactly what they did with Sonic Colors, and it works. And I have to say, Sonic Colors is probably one of the most beautiful Sonic games ever created. Like, it's it just looks so beautiful, just like, running through each of the landscapes in Eggman's Amusement Park. This was also the first game that had uh, new voice actors since the 4Kids dub. So, uh, that was actually pretty interesting. I was very curious to hear what Sonic's new voice was going to be like. Because I was never a fan of Jason Griffith when I was little. I always thought it sounded like too weird. Like Ryan Drummond was just like, oh yeah, and, and you know I liked it because it was like the first Sonic voice, and I was just like, all right, yeah, I could get behind that. I guess that's just Sonic's voice. You know, I, I was a little kid. I didn't really care about voice acting quality. Uh, and then Sonic, I think the first one to have it was Shadow the Hedgehog came around, and uh, you know that started like the, hey Shadow, how you doing? And then, like, Sonic 06, like, had just the worst... Whoever was the director of voice acting in that game bombed. Like, they did not even try. It's like they were told, you have two seconds, record all, like, 2,000 pages of the script. Okay. You know, it was just like, every time, it was just like, Shadow, we have to go say Princess Elise. You know, he always had that same, like... Tone of voice is like, blah, 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 blah. Like, he, he's just, like, not even interested in, like, doing it. Like, I'll, I always cringe in Sonic 06 when Jason Griffith, you know, he had to shout for Elise because she just literally died, and he just goes, Elise! Like, are, are you kidding? You could have done something, like, so much more emotional there, even if, you know, I was, like, if I was invested in that story and then that happened, yeah, that, no more. But I already went on my rant about Sonic 06. We're talking about Sonic Colors here. This is another Sonic game that I have to admit I've never beaten, but what I have, but that was mostly because I got uh, distracted by other Sonic games and other games in general. Uh, so that's really the only reason why I didn't beat this one. But from what I have played of this game, holy fuck, it, I love it. Like, it's so good. And even though, like, the, the voice acting got a little shoddy, uh, well, not really shoddy, but the writing was a little shoddy. Uh, I think, I think I said voice acting, whatever. Uh, so yeah, like, it, it, it definitely got a bit more kid-friendly, which is something that's kind of been going on with Sonic lately. This was kind of the first game to do that. I was kind of like, eh, I could do without, like, the like the kitty humor you know like cause like their, their attempts at humor were just kind of like schmack and uh like that one scene that got really popular because it was like the first scene shown with like the new voice actors uh when tails is trying to communicate with the wisp and you know it's just like oh his, his salad and his orange soda it's like uh, yeah, the translator was wrong, and blah, blah, blah. It wasn't funny. But, uh, like, the gameplay and the visuals, they just, they went all out. Like, it, it was almost as pretty as Sonic Unleashed, I have to say. 
like the one part that really sticks out in my mind was like you're in like this neon road it's like nighttime and then you're running on this road that's kind of like building as you go along and it's just made of like light and i like when i saw that part it was just like this is the like this is the game and i thought like sonic colors man sonic is back you know like i was like jesus christ i like for sonic to have such a low dip in quality and then rise to the occasion basically with this title like sonic unleashed was just like yeah you're all right but i wouldn't really call you the greatest game but sonic colors was where i was like oh yeah sonic is back baby so uh yeah oh also eggman is great in this game i love how they kind of went with like a literally the insane madman like kind of like how he was in sonic unleashed where he you know he's just like a clumsy old like he's a genius but he's a clumsy old fool and he he just like overreacts to everything like it's a fucking anime villain like an old school anime villain it, it, it's just i love the direction they took with it with uh eggman because at first eggman was like this sinister guy and i, I love that you know i love uh, i still love the idea that eggman should be like such a sinister guy like he's just like the epitome of evil but uh the direction they've taken lately where he's just like literally a mad scientist is something that i can get used to so uh i think that's all i really have to say about sonic colors so uh tune in next time and we're gonna be talking about sonic generations i've been looking forward to this one see you there